Hi, Arnabies. Surprise, it's me, Crochet B. Um, if you were expecting the beautiful Sandy Claus, I'm afraid she's uh, going to be unavailable for a couple of days. Um, so you get you get Grinchy Claus, you get Crochet B the Grinch. Um, so as I'm sure some of you know, Sandy is very, very sick. Um, and it's, it's been almost a whole week and she's still still uh, not getting a whole lot better. I talked to the pharmacist about it and he says this particular uh, thing that's going around is a one to two week uh, situation, which is uh, really too bad because she's really having a hard time. So um, for the people that were complaining about her voice, uh, you don't have to worry anymore because now she's completely lost her voice. So you don't have to listen to it. Um, although I think that was a little mean to say. Sandy... Uh, really really takes things to heart and that kind of hurt her feelings she cares very much about all of her subscribers and doing her videos and she tried her best to soldier on even though she really really was not feeling well so thank you to all the people that said all the nice things and to the people that uh, that complained you'll just get a lump of coal or something in your stocking this year so sandy is basically just off camera kind of directing me yeah there's <laughs> directing me for what I'm doing here. So we're going to probably do two or three of these, uh, hoping that by the time uh, you get through them, Sandy will be able to go back to doing them. We don't know how long she's going to be going to be down and out. But uh, I took the rest of the day off today. I was out door dashing and I called home and she said, could you please come and do this for me? So work is important, but Sandy comes first. So we had to had to take care of that. So I will try to follow the format as best I can. So it's my understanding that the first thing we do is open the advent calendar that she started. And this is uh, North Pole, friends. This is day two. And, oh, look what we got. A lovely Kit Kat chocolate bar. So, I guess Sandy gets to eat this now. No? I get to eat this now? Okay. I'll, I'll have this later. So, there are two pieces. So, one for us, one for us, and one for Angie. So, and then I guess the second thing is Bailey gets her advent calendar. So, Bailey, where are you? Oh, what's in here? Bailey is sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Boy, these are a lot of work. One of the reasons I'm a knitter and I don't crochet is because I have these. And it's really hard to get into these little nooks and crannies. So, Bailey gets some lovely dog biscuits. Which, oh, I was able to open. So, come here, Bailey. Come here. Jump. Hopefully you guys can see her. And here you go. Oh, she really hates them, scarf. And I will give her the other two, and this will keep her out of our way for a little bit. So, okay, so that's out of the way. Now, the next thing is the trivia question. Oh, we have to open a gift first. So now we have to open a gift from Angela to Sandy. They're not numbered. We can order them in any which way we want. So... Being a typical guy, I'm going to pick a big one, and we'll see what this is. Feels maybe like a pair of underwear, I'm not sure. If you hear something off camera that sounds like a bull moose bellowing, it's probably just Sandy coughing or making noises over there, so... Ooh... Guess what? Shocking. It's yarn. Mary Maxim Prism yarn. Aren't these beautiful colors? Wouldn't these make a lovely knitted man-made hat? And I know a man that can make them. By the way, for those of you that like Sandy's Santa hat, I actually made that hat. And I just made another one yesterday for one of my Dragon Boat uh, teammates who's wanting it as well. So these are 290 yard balls of yarn. 
which I'm guessing, I don't know, would be enough to probably make it at least one hat, maybe two, right? Eh? Or something else. Yeah, beautiful colors, Angie. These will, these will come out really nice. I may have to steal this from Sandy, or she may give me at least one ball. You never know. We'll have to see how that goes. I'll hand this over to Sandy to have a look at here. Okay. Isn't that fun? Wow, that's awesome. Bailey's just off camera, just chewing on the doggy biscuits in doggy heaven. So she's loving that. Um, now we have the trivia question, the answer. Okay, so we had a little trouble with this one. The question was, um, what vegetable allows Santa's reindeer to fly? So there's a couple of problems. There are two, two different sources to get this information. Uh, if you go back to uh, some of the books from... A while ago, it was always carrots that were left out. But um, a few years ago, we had a wonderful uh, animatronic show come out called uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, <laughs> which starred Mickey Rooney as Santa and Fred Astaire as the postman. It was basically the origin story of Santa and explained how he came to be. And in that one, uh, the bad guy of the story, who was called the Burger Meister Meister Burger, who was mad because he tripped over a toy and banned all the toys from Christmas Town. So that's how Santa had to sneak down chimneys and do all of these things. Um, there's a character in there that when he gets uh, thrown into jail, he comes. There's that guy on the mountain. He had to he had to get over the mountain because on the mountain was this evil guy called the Winter Warlock, which everybody was afraid of. So he had to find a way to get over. So when he tried to go over the mountain, he got captured by the Winter Warlock, but he gave him a present, and the Winter Warlock's heart melted, and he became Kris Kringle's friend, and uh, he lost a lot of his evil magic, but he had some magic corn, and the magic corn is what, what Kris Kringle used to make the reindeer fly. So we're going to accept both answers, carrots and magic corn. So those names will be put into the random generator, and I'm supposed to do this. This will be the winner's name, which Sandy will post below for yesterday's trivia question. So now we get to today's trivia question. And I thought I knew everything there was to know about Christmas, but i would never heard of this one before. Um, and the question is, what is the name of Rudolph's son? I guess, you know, a lot of us remember the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer show where he grows up and becomes an adult and him and Clarice get together. But, um, oh yeah, there is a part where they show the baby as well. So, yeah, I guess we did know that he had, had a son, but I don't ever remember there being a name. But Sandy has got it down here. It's uh, it's on the computer, the answers. So put your answers in. What is uh, Put your answers down below or in the comments. What is the name of Rudolph's son? And is that everything? And that is the first crochet bee standing in for Sandy. I know I'm a poor substitute. When you can look at her beautiful face and you're stuck with mine, I get it. It's a poor substitute. But I love her, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to help her as much as we can. She's really, really not well. I don't think I've ever seen her quite this sick, so... On the plus side, I do. I'm winning all the arguments this week. Uh, she's not able to even say much of anything, but uh, I am trying my best to take care of her while I'm working the two jobs and doing what I can. At least we made it through the craft fair season before this really hit. Uh, this actually started the Sunday of the last craft fair, is when her first day of symptoms started. So she's almost through week one. We're hoping it's going to be a one week and not a two week thing. So. We've bombarded her with every kind of cold and flu medication there is known to man that we can get because with all of this supply chain issues, there's an awful lot of empty shelves on our drug stores these days. It's a little scary. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I know Angie's probably already posted her video. We're a little bit behind, uh, but we are three hours behind Toronto. So that'll hopefully uh, make up for a little bit. So thanks a lot. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Oh, well, please go to her channel, which is down below. It's, uh, what is it? Precious. 
Oh, my precious yarnery, of course. And uh, you'll see her opening up the gifts to Sandy got her, and hopefully you'll be watching the interplay back and forth here. So maybe if you go on her video, it'll be her husband doing the video. You never know, right? Sandy says not a chance, but normally I wouldn't do it because I'm actually really quite shy by nature, as I'm sure most of you know. But anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.